Um, I'm Margaret N. Windsor, and I'm going to go ahead and put this up. I put up a video just now. Somebody's playing around with my videos. I know my Gmail has been hacked. I know my Facebook's hacked. It's still not right. Uh, and I got somebody logging in. Uh, that sure isn't me. So I don't know what the answer is. I do want to put this up. I just put a video. First of all, let me show. I'm going to show my dad, Edward VIII, who married Claudia Ruth O'Keefe, sister, baby sister to artist George O'Keefe. Oh, this is one of the doubles that married Wallace. My father never married this woman. He was married to my mom when they took him down in 36 with character assassination and this was this was it in 37 they appointed george elizabeth's father the illuminati appointed him he's illegal for god's sake this is um his wife elizabeth's mother she's a rothschild and this is um Roosevelt, FDR, that appointed Joe Kennedy ambassador to England in 36. Listen to the dates. 36 is when my father became king, and they couldn't. The world government that's in power now that came to be because of this very instant in history um, are under the guise of the, uh, the uh, United Nations. Let me, I just lost some papers and I can't find them and it upsets me. I have no idea where they are. I have looked and looked. I can't, I, I just don't know where they are. Anyway, I'm putting this up because I put this up about the castle. I was putting up about Mo, um, Cortland Air Bases where when I was kidnapped, I'm sure I find it somewhere, but it's strange. I, you know, it's not that big a place here. I don't know where it is. Um, I the the one I just put up, it put it up untitled, and there's no way it should have been untitled. Uh, I even made sure I didn't go overlap and put too many letters in the word or anything. So somebody's playing around with it, with the stuff. It was about, I started out writing uh, writing down and going back about Cortland Air Base. I was brought there in 41. And uh, after I was I was kidnapped in thirty nine, and this is my uncle planning my kidnapping here in thirty nine with Roosevelt. wasn't bad enough they took my father down. I was born now. They got to take me down. Well, the dates on here you can't see it very well. By the way, the only attorney, and I'm not sure she represented me, but I'm just gonna put the date here. It's nineteen thirty. Uh, nine is when this was in Hyde Park, so you can Google that. King's Council. <laughs> My God, but they got away with it, and so did she. And this is just where Larry Flynn, a hustler magazine, had been shot, and I had written about it and almost got, well, I'd written about mind control murders, and I'm going to uh, stop with that. I'm sure I'll find the stuff I wrote about. I can't find it. I can't figure out where on this earth it is. I really can't. Uh, this is uh, just Larry Flynn. He's saying, just, I don't mean that. It's April of 84. And um, I was out at his house in a campaign to replace Congressman Larry McDonald, doctor, that I'd written about in the book. I'm not going to go any further. He just says, I know who's excuse me, responsible for his shooting uh, in Gwinnett County, Lawrenceville. And it really gets me. I can't figure out where where the papers went. I had just done it this morning. Well, I just, that's the, one of the doubles that married Wallace. My father never married Wallace. This is the Dempsey's where they took me in 1943. I made a mistake on it. The video just prior, I said 41. This picture was made in 43 when I was, uh, well, I was two years old, so I'd probably be three or four. That's correct. And that's Lana Dempsey killed her twins. 
covered it up, and she beat me to death every day of my life, mentally, physically. Okay. First of all, let me go back to this. The name of the video I just put up is Rock Hill Castle. There's no way that that would have been over, not even near over the amount of letters I can put in the title. So now then, yeah, it's being messed with. Not the first time. Um... Okay, what I had first looked up, and I, this is what I can't find. Of course, they've messed up this video now for me. It doesn't have a title. It's got Untitled, and it's Rock Hill Castle. And I thought that was, I don't know if it's all that important in here, but I thought it was kind of odd that I end up down there, and all this happens, the castle and the weird things. and Because um, it's... From where they brought me, they brought me into Cortland, Alabama. Jeff K. was part of it in 41. The Moulton Air Base, which I was trying, well, the Cortland Air Base was what I was trying to write about. And I went back. You can Google it, though. Um, um, it was an Army base, but they flew in there, and they were completing it, I believe, in uh, 41. Anyway, if you get into it, it has its outreaches uh, from Cortland, Alabama. That's near Moulton, and in between Moulton and Cortland is where it is the dump site where they put me with the Dempseys, right for Moulton, Alabama. Uh, so I'm not going to go any further on that. I've told that on this untitled, so probably nobody will notice it. Anyway, I was. This one was supposed to be about Cortland Air Base. And me being brought there, I can remember a few things about that, and it relates to my being with my mom and dad when, I have to assume it was George, I'm sure it was, kept, broke in to the bedroom, and I was little. I, I mean, I was two years old when they kept me, uh, kidnapped me, but he was screaming. I was in a, a bassinet or right beside the bed on this side, can't remember if my mom or dad had to be my dad was on this side because he was screaming at my father at both of them. Anyway, it, the same place. It was weird. When I was brought in to the air base and to the Dempsey's, at a time after then, not too, I don't, not too long after then, because I tell you why, because Dempsey, Lana Dempsey, mother of the twins, Annie Carter met her husband there, Ezra, who ends up a part of this and lives in Kentucky. They're deceased now. But these people all knew about my kidnapping, the murders of Peggy and Carl. There was uh, uh, Annie met Ezra through Lana Dempsey, who was working out at uh, down there at the... Um, Army base, where they brought me in in 41 and handed me over to this line of Dempsey and that sorry sot family. Um, anyway, I can remember going back not too long after then, and it was somebody, uh, I don't know if Ezra, well, yeah, he probably had entered all this at that time, and I'm probably making a mess out of this video. Well, I missed this one up, I guess. Anyway, um, the house that we went to, for some reason, they were in the army. It was odd. The I can't remember all of it. It's vague. I remember we went in, and there was a little uh, foyer. I remember that very well. And the foyer was, um, it was kind of had a little little gates going around it. Like, uh, it wasn't to keep babies in or anything, this one. This one was in Cortland. But it was identical. I don't know the rest of the house or anything, but it was identical to what's where this person, George the Sixth, Elizabeth's father, the illegal, the brother to my, I'm sad to say, my father, 
came in when I was little screaming because I remember them saying, uh, well, this was another person. This wasn't George. I remember some man talking to my dad. My dad had was holding me. And the man wanted to hold me, and my father said, well, you better, <laughs> you better watch her because she'll go for your eyes. Uh, <laughs> I guess punched her eyes out. Because I always thought the eyes were a window to your soul back before I'd ever heard that. I just, you know, there's something I always kind of could tell by people's smile or not smile or eyes. <laughs> I guess that's not funny if I'd actually been big enough to hurt their eyes. Anyway, that was in that foyer that's identical to the foyer that in Cortland that I'm kidnapped and brought over here. And I always wanted to go back there, and they would never go. There's something about it, and I know now what it was. So anyway, I was trying any some other stuff, I mean, that... Uh, I remember one movie that they took me to in Cortland. They'd go to Cortland. I guess that must have been a little closer to Moulton. They didn't have cars either. They went by a wagon. So that picture that I show was a done-up job. There weren't any cars, and it wasn't the clothes they had either. They had gussied up, I called it. But anyway, um, where was it? They, there was a couple of movies. They must have been, they didn't have the money, so I don't know how they got it. It was in Cortland, and um, it was a movie about Sergeant York or something, and I tried to tell them that that wasn't the way. It was against the Brits. And um, oh, what was the other one? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I mean, I, I tried to say it, and I subconsciously I always knew. And, of course, you didn't say anything <laughs> against, uh, and I didn't even know why at the moment. I was little and taken back to Portland, so things happened there. But the mo I, this couple of movies that were trying to make out the Brits as the bad guys, and I'm little, and I'm saying, no, no, that's not the way it is. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I, Portland, Alabama... Uh, now it's grown after all these years. But if you care to hear a little history about the base and then uh, being built and what it um, encompassed, and then there were odd things. I'm not going to try to go into this. You can get it. You couldn't get this a few years ago. Uh, well, at least not on Google or anything. I didn't have access to it. But it's where the outshoots of it that were put uh, when they supposedly closed Cortland Air Base or Cortland Army Base, but they flew in and out and all this during the war. And um, I'm trying to think of some other things I wrote down I was going to put up because now then I thought I had my phone fixed. And I'm going to say again, I'm going to try to get a phone in a couple of more weeks. This one might be shut down for a few days because I can't get down to get a card to put on it, so it'll be gone out for about three days, I guess. So, where am I? Well, I'm looking down there where I, at Rock Hill Castle. I'm just going, you can look up um, Cortland Air Base and how Cortland's grown, and they give you uh, how it was Moulton was made the county seat, and I can remember people making jokes about that. They almost got in fights <laughs> with football games and stuff. Well, Moulton has county seat, and you don't. Uh, the outlying little towns there, Town Creek or something, I don't know now. Anyway, uh, Rocky Hill Castle, I'm going to say this again, it was 15 miles I, it was in Cortland, near Cortland. So it was four miles from Moulton, or where I was at, right for Moulton, Alabama, in between Moulton and... Um, well, I'm going to make a mess of all this now that I lost that she, those sheets about Cortland and all that, giving some history on it. And what I'm going to tell this again, Victor Blakemore, when you get into names that are in this that can't be a coincidence. Anyway, Victor Blakemore um, 
I, you know, when we moved to Moulton a few times and moved back on, on that farm with the Dempseys or that place, uh, I, somehow I came in kind of a small town, but it was odd because Victor and I would trade comic books and play chess, and really I enjoyed being around Victor. He was nice. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get to this. I had heard about the castle, and in the fourth grade, I, two of us were trying to tell about it, and I thought I should be the one to tell about it, and she told about it. But in it is where, uh, I'd never seen the castle, is where the people suddenly disappeared. You know, I believe I'm right. And then you get, yeah, you know, they get in some other history there, too. Somebody should check out a doctor, a physician, uh, Shackelford, because that name gets into something else. Maybe I shouldn't even say it. Uh, when I won't, anyway. Uh, so anyway, oh, after Victor had graduated, he was going to be leaving, and it really crushed me because he was kind of my friend that I could talk to and everything. And so he and I and Joyce crossed the uh, street from us, and someone else went down to see the castle. I'd heard so much all those years about it. And um, I know this is squeaking. <laughs> Nothing's going around. I can't even find the papers and I have no idea where they escaped to <laughs> or something. I can't find them. I mean, you can't lose five sheets of paper in here, can you? <laughs> anyway, um, we were out there in that summer, and I know Victor was leaving, I believe. So this would be 57, I guess, 1957. And... There were, now then, this lady that, you can look this up, by the way, I did. Uh, that's how I got to it, because I'm on, uh, oh, for goodness sake, now I can't even think. What's the website? I mean, what's the, uh, well, I put it on the other one. <laughs> it just went up. I'm going to hold this up here. It's squeaking. I'm not having a good time. This is not turning out. I tried to get everything in order, and look what's happened. So here. <laughs> um... Anyway, let me just get to this. Victor and I went out there with Joyce and her boyfriend, and the, oh, the article, Pincrest, is that where it is? I, I'm on Pincrest, but I don't use it that much, except about Anastasia. Now then I get this from Pincrest, uh, and it's about this castle, which I couldn't find anything out about it a few years ago till I put up and started try and find something about it. And now that you can get a bunch of stuff. <laughs> anyway, the castle uh, has now been demolished, or not demolished, but torn down. People just took pieces of it. The doctor, I, I was told he was a doctor and his wife and family. They disappeared, left their food on the table, everything left in the castle. They're calling that a castle plantation. And never heard from. Okay, when Victor and I and the other couple went down there in 57, I'm pretty sure that summer, uh, we climbed up on some of the, some of the structure was still there. Uh, not much, too much of it, but they had the dungeon, the galleries, if you want to call it, where they had the slaves. And it was really dark. I mean, it was kind of scary. Uh, it still had the things on the wall where you hooked the arms to handcuffs into the wall it was dark and i remember that there was the tower now she shows the tower if you can she's on facebook and it's oh what did i say <laughs> rocky mountain castle oh don't let me lose something else sitting here somebody will say i'm getting 